Hey, Shalom, giving our praises, honor, glory, and worship unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rucha, Kurash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles that do well overseeing the tabernacle of David, which are the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, Akim, upholding the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. This is the book of Romans. The eighth chapter and the seventh verse. The eighth chapter and the sixth verse. It says, <clears throat> and it reads, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. See, it doesn't matter how you how you live in and how you eat in today if it compromises tomorrow. It doesn't matter who what covenant that you made with that has you riding high and patting yourself on the back today when you lose tomorrow. You know? Solomon spoke of vanity, you know, and what has taken place is a lot of a lot of people who proclaim to be Israel, who profess to be followers of our Lord and Savior. They have um, they have forsaken their posts and they have made compromise with death and um and and because of that they're going to lose terribly and their examples for us and um in regards of how not to live you know this is verse 7 it says because the carnal mind is enmity against god for it is not subject to the law of god neither indeed can be you know, and the thing about it, you know, you can um, you can exercise and, and put up a facade for the world, but you shouldn't forget that the real will always recognize. You can't fool those who are really about it. You can't fool those who are really summit, who are truly summit, and who um. Have spiritual eye salve that can see. All right. Because what Jake is doing in this thing of ours, they're taking this truth, they're taking this thing of ours and using it um, for carnal gain. They're compromising the order of Malak Tazadak, but proclaiming themselves to be high priests. How so? How so? Is it after the order of Malak Tazadat or is it after the order of Caiaphas? Is it after the order of Yahawasha or is it after the order of Onias? Is it after the order of Jason? Is it after the order of Alazar of the ancient Sakari? Which one is it? But there's been a lot of priests in the nation of Israel. All of them were not 100. All of them weren't sanctioned in the spirit. Some in the flesh, but not in the spirit. These things should be considered and remembered. The scriptures were written for, for our learning. Yet we see the same individuals fall into those same footsteps. Not learning from the mistakes they made those many years ago. Some even coming back in the same name. <clears throat> it says so verse this is verse verse 8 it says so then they that are in the flesh cannot please God if you're allowing the flesh to guide you and if you're prioritizing the uh, the flesh rather than the spirit you lose you lose all right you 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 have forsaken the the, the testimony and the death of Yahweh Shai for what? For what? 
The Lord's going to wipe the earth with you, man, and your family. These things should have been considered. They should have not been taken so lightly. You know, they should not have been taken so lightly. I'm actually going to get this in the blue letter. What is it? Let's see. Yeah, let's get this and we're going to get this in the um we're going to get it in the blue. Yeah, because I wanted to actually go into that Greek. So we're going to get it we're going to get it in the blue. All right. So this is the book of First Corinthians, the seventh chapter, and the thirty-first verse. It says, "And they that use this world as not abusing it." Question: In this world that we're in, are you using? Or are you abusing it? Have you signed five hundred one c three contracts? Have you taken away the name of the beloved Son from the congregation of the nation of Israel? Have you compromised the doctrine that Yahweh Shah died for? Are you teaching the Kharagma the correct way? You know, these are questions that have to be considered. Are you following leaders who've, who've, um, who are getting to the bag and not the good one? It's a bag with holes in it. These are questions that they definitely they have to be considered. It says, and they that use this word, are you are you following leaders that are on the high horse, literally, rather than he that cometh into Jerusalem on the cult? It's a difference. Don't ever forget about that. Are you following leaders who come into the Passover on horses with, with Edomites, so-called white women guiding the horse in the Lord's Passover? Wait a minute. I thought he didn't want to be at the Passover. What's your excuse? Because they need to guide that horse that you rented? Tragic. Not going to cut it. And, and again, the scripture speaks about uh, that they, they would have even deceived the very elect, but they can't deceive the elect. You can play those games with those who were born in vain, but the cluster will not compromise. First Corinthians, the seventh chapter in the 31st verse. And they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passive away. And I went to this because I wanted to go to the Greek of the term fashion, which I believe is scheming. If I'm not mistaken, it's been a minute since we since I went to it. But it says the fashion, right? Where are we at? All right. The fashion, which is uh, schema. All right, which is the the um, habitus as comprising everything in the person uh, which strikes the senses. It says figure, bearing, discord, actions. This is the point I want to emphasize. Manner of life. The manner of life of this world, of this society, of this livelihood is going to pass away. So if you're prioritizing, you know, how people look at you in this world, if you have compromised the doctrine of Yahweh Shah, if you sit down at the round table with Esau to get some of the crumbs off of this maggot's table, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. It's, just, it's a lot of, it's a lot of you, it's a lot. It, and see, the scripture says, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. And you know where I'm going. You should. Ooh, that's a good one too. That's a that's a really good one. I might actually, I might actually just get that one instead. Yeah, I might I might just actually get that one instead. I'm going to get this first, then I'm going to get that one. This is the book 
of Mark, pardon me, the book of Matthew um, 7 to 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravening wolves. So they got the zitzi tone. You understand? They got their fringes. They got. They have their border of blue. They're, they're telling you sh shalom, Israel, this and that. Mosai and Christ, this and that. All, all the other whack garbage. They refuse to, to, to glorify Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. They refuse to take heed to the true prophets. They're trying to play a prophet. Instead of taking taking heed to the true prophet, they're trying to play, play a prophet. GMOs don't bear fruit. Don't, don't, you know, you need to remember that. GMO plants, it, it, it might appear, it, it, it does appear good. When you look at a GMO orange, you look at a GMO uh, tomato, it's like, wow, it's very shiny. It, it, you know what? It actually looks very nutritious. It can be like that sometimes. But when you take, when you cut that fruit open and you take that seed and you plant it, the fruit ain't the same. The nutrients isn't the same. So you might appear to be a prophet, you might play the prophet, but the scripture says a tree should be known by his fruit. So just because you looking like that, if you, if if it's not sincere, if it's not of Yahweh Shai, your fruit it will bear witness. It says, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Verse 16 says, ye shall know them by their fruits. That's the spirit. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do man gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down. All right, every tree that bringeth forth not good fruit is hewn down. <clears throat> it says, <clears throat> it says, and cast into the fire. Is that what you want? You people who are following Alazar, you following One Body in Dallas, you following IUIC, you following UPK, you following, you know, these other factions of heretics and infidels. Who plan the prophet? Is that what you want for you and your household? Because that's gonna be the end. I can guarantee you that, man. That that will be the end. The scripture says the end of all things are at hand. This is not hate. This is not envy. This is just this is just the raw truth, man. Raw, unadulterated truth. We're not compromising for anybody. If you got, if look, man, if you forgaze it, you forgaze it. We're just going to call a spade a spade. We are set up to be watchmen for the nation of Israel. These guys are filling their own bellies. They got fat while Yahweh was in, this, in, in the spiritual room. But he's coming back and you can't forget, he's not meeting you as a man. Nor is he meeting Esau as a man. In the eyes of the Lord, they're upon, they're upon this. They're upon this kingdom and the kingdom of Jacob, the wicked of the Israelites. The Lord sees all of this, man. He sees the covenants that you've been making with Esau. And we see it too. We see it too. And there's one goodness, I might not be able to get it. I, I remember a brother bringing it out at camp. I was reading it one couple of days ago. Oh, what was it? It was a, I don't even know how it goes. But it was saying the Lord, essentially he sees everything. Goodness, how did that scripture go? That would have been a beautiful one. And of course, we know the eyes of the Lord upon the sinful um, kingdom. The eyes of the Lord 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding, you know. So we, we understand that. And that was a beautiful scripture. It just came to mind. Mm. You see, if you, if you haven't done judgment and justice, 
the Lord is not going to defend you against Esau because you you Israelites who've co compromised, you've forgotten that when this man Esau come down, he's going he don't give a damn about your covenant. He's going to breach your covenant, man. Huh? You're going to lose. You will lose. All right. Let me see what. Wow, Lord willing, I find it. It's, it's probably going to be difficult for me to find now, but it, was, it really was a great scripture, just in general. But just sh showing the um, the um, omnipotence of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. You're not getting away with it, man. The Lord sees you. You know, but as far as the elect is concerned, we have not been forsaken. And the Lord will not, uh, he will not cast us off, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua will not cast off his elect. So let's just hold fast to um, our profession and the testimony in which we've been granted. So that, we give all praises, honor, glory, and worship unto Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, Bashim Kakadash, the Bible says, Apostles, a great millstone, and salutations. Shalom, keep the faith.